Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. And today I'm going to show you how to get the game V Rising working on the M1 Apple Silicon and Mac. So today we are using the Windows 11 ARM Parallels Virtual Machine method and this is going to be the only way to be able to get this Windows game running on the M1 Mac. So as you can see the performance is going to be okay. It's really going to be up to you whether you think that this is worthwhile. There are frame drops and it can't run at very high settings. However, you can play the game and it is playable online as well. So if you're interested in trying this, today I'm going to show you the entire process of so that. That means installing Parallels, Windows 11 ARM, setting up the virtual machine, installing Steam, and also buying and installing V Rising. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing. It just takes a moment to do, and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac tutorials. So next we're going to download and install Parallels, which is the virtual machine software we're going to be using in order to run Windows 11 ARM on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So what I do recommend that you do is to click the link at the top of the description. This is going to take you to the Parallels download page. If you make a purchase after clicking this link, then you'll be helping to support my channel and the work that I do. So once you've clicked the link, what you can do is try the software out for free for 14 days. If you do decide to buy now and click new license, what you can do is go ahead and select the Pro Edition and then click buy now. And if you click this enter a coupon code button here, and then you type in the code AppleWiki10 and click apply, then you're going to receive a 10% discount. So here I'm going to use the free trial and I'm going to click the download now button here. And then we're going to press OK. And then the software has downloaded. So now I'm going to navigate to my finder and then go to my downloads folder. And then I can see here my Windows 11 ARM is still downloading. However, I'm going to go ahead and install Parallels Desktop.dmg. So here we're going to double click on the installer. And now we're going to double click on Install Parallels Desktop. Here we'll press open. And we're just going to let this finish downloading. So now we're going to enter our password and press OK. So once Parallels is installed, what we're going to do is to double click on Parallels Desktop and then we're going to be met with this installation wizard. So here we're going to press continue. And now what we're going to do is to select the option on the left which says get Windows 11 from Microsoft. So this is actually a new option which allows us to directly download Windows 11 without having to register with the Windows inside a program. So we're going to press install Windows and it's going to go ahead and download and install Windows 11 ARM directly from the Microsoft service. And now we're going to let Parallels create that virtual machine for us. So now Windows 11 11 ARM is being installed and this is going through the setup process. And that's going through the setup process, we just have to wait for this to complete. So now that installation is complete, we're going to press the continue button here and Windows 11 has automatically maximized itself. You can see here that Windows, you can see here that there are various updates that are already being installed. So we're going to minimize this and we're going to close this browser window. So one of the main things to do when you first start is obviously let the updates all complete. A handy tip as well is to right click on the desktop here and then click display settings. And here we're going to configure the display resolution. So Scaling is something that I always change to 100%. This is because sometimes games will crash if they're run at a higher display scale. So now we're going to install Steam. So I'm going to click on the Microsoft Edge icon here, and then we're going to type in the web address steampower.com. And then we're going to click this button on the top right called Install Steam. And then we're going to be downloading and installing the Windows version of Steam so that we can play it on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So once that's downloaded, we're going to press Open File, press the Yes button here. And now we're going to go through the Steam setup process. So here we're going to press next, select English, select install here and let Steam install. Now we're going to finish and press run Steam. So now we're just going to let Steam update. So if you don't have a Steam account, you can go ahead and create a new account for free. However, I'm going to log into my existing account now. So once we have Steam open, we're going to go to the store page. I want to do a search for V Rising. I'm going to find the V Rising game. And what we're going to do here is scroll down. And if you haven't purchased store already, you can press add to cart. And then we're going to purchase for myself. So once this has been purchased, we're going to click install content, or you can go to the library, type in V Rising, and select the game, and then press install. We're just going to let it install in its default location. So just wait for that to complete. So once the game is fully downloaded, we can go ahead and launch the game. It's going to ask us to accept the end user licensing agreement. And then it's going to load up its intro cinematic, which we can skip. And then the game is going to load up to the main menu. Then we're going to go ahead and agree to the privacy policy and press next. And then we're going to agree to the tracking and analytics. So here I'm going to select online play and we're going to try out the online multiplayer. So here what I'm going to do is to pick a server. I'm going to create a character. Here I'm just loading up a default character. If the game asks you about a firewall exception, then make sure to click allow. So when we actually get into the game, what you're going to notice is that a lot of the graphics are flickering. And if this issue happens to you, what we're going to do is to fix this problem using a special argument, which is going to be contained in the Apple Gaming Wiki website. 
So I'm going to leave a link to this article in the description. And basically what we need to do is to go to the control center and then open up the virtual machine preferences. Then we're going to go to the hardware tab and then scroll down to boot order. And then we're going to press the advanced button and then we're going to enter this particular code. So I'm going to copy and paste this and put this into the flex. And then once we've done that, we can go ahead and relaunch the virtual machine. So as you can see, once we've actually relaunched a game with the new argument, there are no more graphical flickering errors. So this is running almost perfectly well on this virtual machine. So obviously the frame rate and the performance is not fantastic. There are actually quite a few frame drops here, but this is actually functioning correctly and it's connected online. So I guess that it's a victory. However, whether you consider this playable or not is really a personal preference. You might want to log in here to be able to do a little bit of gaming and catch up on your character. However, I totally understand it if people think that this is not an acceptable level of performance. If you'd like to find out more about games that are compatible for the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, then please make sure to check out the M1 Compatible Games Master List. I'll leave a link to this in the description. This contains a really long list of games which are compatible through the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, whether it's running natively through ARM, through Rosetta 2, or one of the compatibility layers such as Crossover or Parallels. So please check it out. I'll leave a link to this in the description. Please also make sure to check out the Apple Gaming Wiki YouTube channel. This contains a playlist of game benchmarks that I performed on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, and there are literally hundreds of games which I've tested. So please check this out. I'll leave a link to this in the description as well. So now this is how you get V Rising working on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac using the Parallels Virtual Machine method. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe. I've got lots of other video tutorials like this on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.